experimental probability. We've already looked at theoretical probability, which is what should happen, and now we're going to look at experimental probability as what actually happens. So let's say we toss a coin, so we're looking at our coin, coin example, and we're going to toss it 10 times. We're going to toss it 10 times, and we get seven heads and three tails. So here we're actually conducting an experiment. And what is the experimental probability of getting, let's look at the experimental, so experimental probability of getting a head. Well, we use our data to do this. So the total number of tosses on the bottom, which is 10, and how many heads did we get? Well, we got seven. So that becomes our experimental probability of getting a head becomes seven out of 10. What's the probability? What's the experimental probability of getting a tail? Well, again, we tossed it 10 times and we got three heads. So our experimental probability of getting a tail is three out of 10. We know the theoretical probability is actually a half for both, but based on that experiment, um, that's what we conclude our experimental probabilities to be. Let's look at tossing a die 20 times. Let's say we got the following results for getting a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Let's say we got 3 1s, 2 2s, 4 3s, 3 4s, 5 5s, and 3 6s. What are the experimental probabilities of each of these. Well, the experimental probability of getting a 1, well, we tossed it 20 times, and we got three ones, so it'd be 3 out of 20. For the 2, we tossed it 20 times, and we got two twos, so it'd be 2 out of 20. For a 3, tossed it 20 times, and we got four threes. For a 4, we tossed it 20 times and got three fours. For a five, tossed it 20 times, but got five fives. And for six, tossed it 20 times and got three sixes. You just have to be careful here. And some of these fractions can be simplified. This one we can divide both numerator and denominator by two, where we get one out of 10. This one can be both divided by 4 to get 1 out of 5. And this one, can numerator and denominator, can both be divided by 5 to get 1 out of 4. And they're our final experimental probabilities.